Hello, and welcome back to La Milana. We were stuck in the dimensional corridor last time, and I kind of did some homework. I looked through all of the screenshots, and, well, I have some ideas. So I think it's time for our favorite activity of just looking at more screenshots on camera, because I want to go through quite a few of these, and uh, we'll, we'll just work through it. There's, there's some... A lot of them are like, I can tell this probably has something to do with something that we're doing here, maybe? But it's it's hard to say. So, uh, I just put all these in like the folder for Dimensional Corridor, and I don't think that's true. I think this was found like outside of it, but I don't remember. It's uh, I should do it like right after I stream La Milana, honestly, but I always forget to like sort out the screenshots. But yeah, so this one, this to me just seems like another one of those Anubis situations where once you find Anubis, you have to like actually see him, then go to Moldbrook, and then she'll tell you how to defeat him or give you the item to defeat him. This seems like we have to see some kind of large spirit, and then once we have, then we go to the Fairy Queen, I imagine, is the righteous spirit, and then like, when the time is right, come back to me, maybe. We'll see. Screenshots are made to be looked at, yeah? Let's look at screenshots. Uh, this doesn't mean anything. Yeah, this doesn't really mean anything, except this, I shall await thee beyond the boundaries of time. I don't know exactly what that means, and if that's written from, like, the mother, or if it's from a different perspective. If it's, like, the, uh... There was some something else here that seemed to kind of indicate that bat guy, the, like, giant eyeball that when you hit, he, like, floats away and stuff. We'll see. Uh, three shall be lit. The light is dependent on the number of lives the eleven children have. So I thought that meant like, oh, kill three of these mini-bosses and then you light up three lights. But I think it's probably different. It's probably more like... I don't know, like, the light is dependent on the number of lives. I guess you have to kill all but three? You can choose three to leave alive once we figure out, like, how... how the... Tiamat's restorative powers work and all that. I, I don't know, but then what happens if you kill all of them? Do you just... do they come back? Are you just softlock forever? No idea. Uh, this doesn't mean anything. This one? I have an idea. Not entirely sure, though. Obtain the dimensional key, the place that eternally connects to the place where life is born with no end. Thrust infinity there. Well, I mean, obviously I'm thinking of Chamber of Birth, the place where life is born with no end. And Infinity, there was the whole, like, falling endlessly screen that had the Infinity symbol. Thrust seems to be, like, the sword, the key sword. That seems to be kind of the key to many things where you have to use specifically that weapon. There was some other one. Look to the weapon in your hand, which might also be for the sword. So I guess we can go and try that. Just see if I can, like, thrust that into Infinity. And if that does anything, if it's very literal, thrust Infinity there. Uh, that doesn't really mean anything. And then we had other ones, so this is from Chamber of Birth. Here it mentions Tiamat's child will re regenerate with no end, as long as Tiamat's dimensional powers remain intact. Find a way to destroy the dimensional powers. I think this is just a translation thing, because, like, it's singular child, but if it was Japanese, then I guess, like, it would be the same for multiple, I, th I think. I mean, not, not necessarily, but... It's probably Tiamat's children, like the mini-bosses, I would think. This doesn't matter right now. No. This, I mean, the one idea I had was the laser golden glow from the, the pochettes, but apparently not. But this might be something. And here, the crystal skull suppresses Tiamat's powers. It recalls the dimension in which Tiamat resides. Maybe we just have to kill the mini-bosses with the Crystal Skull in hand, and that will, like, freeze them. That will lock them or something. So I guess I'll try that. Otherwise, maybe we have to use it elsewhere. So that's it for here. There were a lot of these I have ideas for. Uh, this one is from Tower of the Goddess. Uh, I mean, there is this. The place hidden further ahead holds many mysteries. Fly with the golden wings. Like, I... I don't we... Do we have the golden wings already? I mean, I have the pochette, and those were the golden... I, I don't know, maybe those weren't the golden wings. They're just... Like, we didn't get our airship from the Palenka fight. No idea. 
and this key to enchanted mantra which it seems like we need to do something with this before we can even start doing the whole mantra thing birth and death and whatever else and this as well lone snake among spikes still don't know what, what that might be referring to and that protects the enchanted words there was another one related to the mantra that I have an idea for uh yeah, this too, a hunk of flying iron, a machine created by the sixth child. It will begin to move when thou holds the golden key in hand. I don't know if th this means what I just used the golden key to initiate the boss fight and send the, like, spaceship so that I could fight Palenka. If that's it, or if this is something else in the, the Tower of the Goddess. I guess we have to check that too. And this, I think, we've basically done, I don't know exactly... This could also be something still. Seek that which flies to the right, flies to the left. No idea. Uh, and there's this stuff, but we need the mantra before I can like do anything with that, because we need to use the mantra of birth on the one that we think is like the right one, and then use the mantra of death on the two that were uh, fakes. But I can't do that yet, as far as I know. Shrine of the Mother. Uh, here, I mean, it says Tiamat distorts the two laws. Yeah, doesn't really, like, mean anything to me, I think. Uh, here, look to the weapon in thy hand. The key to the awakening lies within. I just figured this guy kind of looks like the eyeball dude. Not really, but, like, the one that floated up into bats and then reformed every time. Maybe it's just something where, like, I have to use specifically that weapon to challenge him? Probably not, though, but I don't know what this is supposed to mean. It looks like some kind of statue or whatever. Yeah. Or it's the statues that were left and right of the place with Oxhead and Horseface. Possibly. Uh, and this stuff, this is clearly the uh, Tiamat's mini-bosses. Ugalu's body, Urma Urmalulu... Urmalulu's voice, Umu Dabrutu's wings, and Ushum's tail, together they form Mushushu, Mushusu. And I think it was like, the the room that ha said Mushusu's, m wait, Mushusu, yeah, Mushusu's room didn't have a boss in it, we just like left it. So I assume that means like you have to kill only these four bosses on the way there or something, and then you'll fight this guy, but think I probably have to like figure out how to make them not respawn before I worry about doing that. Not sure. This doesn't really mean too much. Message from my dad. Uh, there was some other stuff. Gate of Illusion. Where was that? Yeah, the Holy Grail is rendered powerless in Tiamat's room. We'd notice that. This one. Wisdom is buried within the wall. Hold high the emblem of proof before the palace guarded by Hell's Gatekeeper. Oxhead and Horseface, right? Glowing letters will shine through the darkness. The wisdom is, in fact, the virtual wise man, the keeper of the mantra. So, maybe I just did something wrong, and this might have been what TJM was saying last time, that I, like, I did something right, but not in the exact right way, so I just assumed that it was wrong and forgot about it. Maybe I just have to use some specific item in a specific way, either jumping or not jumping in front of that door to do something, or in front of the golems or whatever, something like that. I think that's pretty much all we need to look at. I didn't look at all the screenshots like in Tower Ruin and stuff like that, but let's leave it there. That's still like a lot to work with. It's just a question of is it going to be anything and can I do anything with it? No idea. But yeah, let's leave it there. Uh, and I guess we'll start by going... Let's start by doing the non-dimensional corridor stuff, I think. So, I want to go back to the Palenka thing. Uh, so that was over here. Is there any better way to get here than, like, taking this whole path? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. It, it, we probably at least have, like, a stream full of stuff to test whether they end up being anything, we'll see. But yeah, should be at least stuff to do today. Ow. Oh, right, hold on. I'm now playing in, uh, in uh, window mode. 
It's gonna disable the uh, screenshot showing thing. Even though it's not showing a screenshot. There we go. Yeah, I wanna like get to this part in an easier way. That would be nice. You think this is the shortest route? Well, this was not the way to go. Uh, I keep forgetting. How did you get to the place? Uh, oh god. Yeah, how did I get into the place with Oxhead and Horseface? Oh boy. I do not remember at all. It wasn't from here, was it? Through Graveyard? I don't even remember. Wait, Graveyard? Ah? Which exit in uh, the Graveyard? Ow. Wait, gate and chamber. Oh, right, yeah, 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 the, the mirror gate. Right, so let's go to the tower. Yeah. Ow. Yep, I'm not remembering much. There we go. Takes a while to get here. So... It's not that. At least... Decent heal, at least. So right here, it's probably something, I would imagine. Don't really need to kill the bats. It's not like they can do anything, but... Just want to clean up. Alright, so let's try some stuff again. The proof, though. What is the proof? This one? No? Crystal Skull? Or this one? I guess I should try it all, like, both in front of it and up here. Dragon Skull. Crystal Skull. Or Dragon Bone, it's called. Yeah, there's like a, a yin-yang kind of shape below here and above. I thought that was just like a smudge. I don't know. But how would I get up there and show it? And what is it? I don't think I have it. Just try everything. Yeah, doesn't seem like it. Seems like I'm supposed to show something here, but I, I don't know what. I could waste this one, but that, again, feels like a waste. Whoops. I guess. Nope. That did nothing. Hmm. Thank you. 
out of game knowledge of what that shape is called is potentially helpful. Like, not yin yang? I don't know what it would be called otherwise. Unless that's like the Magatama jewel or something. Yeah. I don't know. Can I try the key here? Well, I didn't, but it's not anything. Yeah, it just, it doesn't seem like I have what you need for this. Yeah, guess not. You only lack patience? Really? Like, you literally just have to stand still and do something? I mean, how would you know know that then? You're saying it's 100% logical, like, makes sense. There's nothing in my inventory that, in my opinion, would make sense to use here. Yeah, activate machine. Why is this robot here? I, I don't know. Like, I think you're basing this off of you already know the solution, so asking these questions seems to make sense to you, but you have to come at it from a perspective of not knowing what the solution is gonna be. Because, like, how would I know why this robot is here? How would I know what... I'm gonna use for it. Yeah, none of this makes sense to me. And well, if you just happen to get this instantly when you played it, good for you. People play games differently. Yeah, I, I might just give up on this at this point. I don't know. Other than, instead of, like, actually giving hints, it would be nice to know, like, what kind of in-game hints are even related to that. Like, what am I supposed to be thinking about for this thing? Because, I mean, I've looked at screenshots and none of them seem to indicate much here, other than, like, the whole use this key sword or show the proof, but I don't know what the proof is in this context. So this is the one you think I did figure out, but just tried the solution and it didn't work. Or like I didn't do it in the right way. I mean, in, in that case, I wouldn't mind a, a more blatant hint. Like, what is it that I've already done, but it was I didn't do it the right way?
I've done the right thing, just not enough? Just hit them over and over and over? Or with this, the key so- oh, there we go. Why- like, why- why would you do that? I don't know. That just seems really weird to me. The statues are Spriggans. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about that thing. Like, hostility awakens it. But yeah, I, I tried to be hostile. Like, again, that's why I assumed it didn't work, because I already hit it, like, multiple times. Just not... God damn it. Not for long enough. Can't say I'm a fan of that. But I don't know if I... Uh... Yeah, I think it was, like, hostility further hostility. We'll destroy it or something. Hold on, I should look at that screenshot. Yeah, just not 20 times, exactly. Uh, so where was that? That was in Chamber of Extinction, I believe. Yeah, the large stone statue. Again, they don't really look like stone to me. They look more like metal, but oh well. Hostility awakens it. Further attacks will still its unrest. So, okay, just hit him a lot and then hit him some more. Good. Yeah, there we go. Ow. And I guess kind of just ignore him. This is very strange. Maybe I'm supposed to hit up here? No? Well, now he shouldn't be able to hit me, right? Yeah. I don't think I'm doing this right. Yeah, something seems wrong here. Uh... You done? I, I don't know if he's done. No? That just reset? I'm super confused still. Further hostility stills its unrest. So just just keep hitting him but I mean I kept hitting him a million times and that didn't seem to do anything maybe we want specifically this guy so he can like walk off the screen so if I don't hit him at all he's, he's just stopped no Let's just see what happens if this guy goes off screen. Oh, he can't. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, well, I guess we can just get up here. I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Just, like, jump up with him. Not sure if you can do anything else with him, though. Like, is that the purpose? Just so that you can move up here? I suppose so. Nua sleeps in the last pyramid of the burning land. The philosopher blocks the path. I think I've reached all the philosophers, though. In the burning land... Hmm. So, Tower of Ruin or uh, Inferno Caverns? The surface, huh? Huh. 
Wait, hold on. We should, like, strike at everything here, just in case. Well, there's something to the right here. Grenade time? Yeah, just money. Definitely needed that. Well, this doesn't seem to have really helped. Oh, or maybe not. Or maybe it does. Yeah, okay. We're going through the surface and then to somewhere else. Was that another, like, trick pot that I'm maybe supposed to do something with? Yeah, if only I could buy, like, the adult wallet. Oh, that's just gone now. Inferno Cavern! There we go. Okay, well, this is some, some good progress, so we don't even have to do Dimensional Corridor right now. Just gonna see if I can, like, fucking go into the pot. Nope. Not right now. Uh, before we do this, I kind of want to heal, but... Uh, I guess I can push on for a little bit. At least our uh, grail isn't, like, turned off in this area. The last jewel lies within blank. The jewel glows red from within the key to the blank. Great. Very helpful. Oh, just more, mo more money. <laughs> Definitely need it. Totally wasting it. I see. And, uh, mm, I assume I can't just climb down safely here. I probably shouldn't try with this little health. Yeah, I think you just have to, like, time this. Oh, no. Okay. That actually didn't do, oh, no. That much damage, but getting up here is a problem. Okay, let's go heal. This entire sequence dedicated to Capcom games, yeah. Gotta pull out my Mega Man skills. I'm probably quite rusty on those types of things. Yeah, I could go buy some, like, bombs or something, but I, I have enough. Yeah, there's really nothing that I want to buy. Weights are fine. So we might as well just waste all the money. So I assume I can't, like, get in there. I maybe should have tried to hit more walls in the surface area here. Buy gun. I mean, I already have the gun and as much ammo as you can have for it. If I could buy more ammo, I would. And yeah, health potions would, would be nice. Yeah, the gun is just like a formality for me. I just, I have it with as much ammo as I can have. I just don't use it because it feels cheap. I want to do it without the gun. Yeah, I wonder if I could have maybe broken to the left there or something. Don't think we can get in here now. Can't, like, press down or anything, no. Alright, we'll have to go the normal way. Uh, so wait. Tower of Goddess again, right? One of these days, I'll go through this screen without taking damage. It can happen. This sure is a roundabout way. Would have been nice if there were any, like, shortcuts that you could unlock just to get back to these areas. And there's nothing I want this guy for, right? Like, 
I don't think him being in a specific position would help me. But it also seems like we probably still need to do something in this screen, but I guess in that case I don't have whatever it is. Maybe it's something to do with a mantra or something like that. Yeah, it really is like 20 times. It's very strange. So then you just like turn him off, like here? No? Stop. Stop your unrest. There we go. Now he turned off. And then if you keep hitting him, he turns back on, I guess? Wait, hold on. Did I check over here? Yeah, nothing. Another one of those. Yeah, that's just gonna shoot balls, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can break anything here. Maybe you can, like, climb down from the ladder? I mean, I, I think I tried that. I tried pushing down in the screen. Yeah, would have been really nice to have a shortcut back here. Nope. No such luck. All right. Ah, I was hoping that would that would uh, come back. Oh shit! Wait, I can just like. Wait, you can just jump from here. Hold on. Like, right here? Jump. There we go. Oh my god, that's hard to time. Uh-oh. Okay. Hello. Echidna's Chamber. Uh, well, there was something about this and, like, turn left and strike. Strike with your weapon and stuff. But I don't think that's here exactly, maybe. No idea. I mean, it certainly looks like there's something behind that one. Nuos Pyramid. Maybe I should try and grenade it. Like, right here is definitely something. Like, a, a pedestal, I think? For a weight, maybe? Oh, goodbye, Chakram. Okay, let's just, like, blow myself up. Yeah, nothing. Seems like there's gonna be something here. Maybe there's just a screenshot that I need to- Oh, remember. Ow! What? Oh, more of these guys. Well, I don't think I... Well, I can't time stop anyway, but I don't think I need to, really. Newest pyramid. And then we do something else on the other side, I guess? Oh! No, just that. Oh! Here's a boss fight. Definitely a mini-boss. I don't know if we've heard about this thing before. Yeah, can't do anything now. Doesn't wake up. Alright, probably for later on. Ah, oh, I knew that would happen. Now we're here again. The one who challenges Nua to battle, the one who drives a wedge into the mother as she rests. That thou art the chosen one, we pray. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Well, there's the shortcut I wanted, I guess. But I still don't have any mantra or anything like that. Maybe I do want to stop time here. And just take care of these little pesky things. Oh, wait, that's moving now. Yep, 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 yep. Hello, okay. Hi, Nua. What's up? Uh, I might have to bail on this. Ah. Yeah, this is hard to, to hit. Yeah, I should just contact damage as well. I'll probably have to bail once and come back with more HP. Oh, no, or I can just die. Damn, that's actually kind of a problem. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Yeah, rip shortcut. We'll have to do it again. And while I'm doing that, let's just go and refill the, uh, the lantern. Uh, I always forget, like, where the closest one is to that. Like, I guess this one is reasonably close. I don't know if there's a better one. There's probably a much better one I'm forgetting about. Oh, no. God damn it. Does anyone know any suggestions? Like, an easy refill station? Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm dumb. There's a fucking refill station on the way here, right? And I just passed it by. Right here. And this is way easier to get to, too. This one, this one is just good to use even if you're not going through this way. already taken quite a bit of damage. No, not the best. But I guess as long as we get the shortcut, I can just go and like heal up and then go back there. Or we can try and time one of these blue ball things. I almost have a, a full heal. So let's try and like not kill stuff for right now and do it afterwards. Oh, damn it. Didn't want to go off the screen. Yeah, it's just 20 more hits, I see. 20 to turn them off, 20 to... Turn them, t turn them on, turn 20 to turn them off. All right, this again. Oh. Oh, wow, that can actually hurt you. God, that's so hard to time. There's like no indication for it. It's just... Just learn the timing. The like, increased hit stun would be pretty nice here. Good lord. I guess I can go down here as well, but I imagine that's just back to like a screen. Oh no, guess we're going down here again. God damn it. 
That's, yeah, I, I need to, ha, ah, man, I need to go all the way there first. Thanks. Very cool. Fucking assholes. These mischievous spirits or whatever they are. And back we go again! Oh boy. And I wasted the heal completely. Yeah, this is quite the tedious path to get back here. Really? Hmm. Wasn't that more than 20? Maybe you have to have like a little bit of time between them. Yeah, that time it was exactly 20. Mega Man time again, and I do it without failing. Oh, no, I cannot. Good start. Great. All right, I'm just going to do it this way then. Probably miscounted. Maybe. I was just swinging like as fast as I could, and I thought I got to 20. Yeah, that's inactive right now. Oh, hold on. Let's kill this thing just to see what happens. Maybe I would want to save this for the mini boss. That would be really good, actually, having this for the mini boss. Yeah, I don't think this is doing anything since they're just infinite. Yeah, all right, well. It's worth a shot. Yeah, so maybe I should regroup, heal up, get more uh, lantern goop, and then use that in the, the boss battle, the mini boss. If only you could get from this, this uh, grail tablet back up here. Because where do you get to hear from? That's like from within Tower of the Goddess, right? That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. I guess I might as well just buy some like weights or something. Where is that again? Is that down here? Nope. so we can grab some money. Yeah, I think it's probably still faster to just go this way to refill the lamp and then just teleport back and go the other way. I don't know, maybe there's a, a better one. 
This seems like one of the more convenient refill stations. Oh, wrong one. Does every single area have a lamp refill station? I'm not sure I remember all of them. We could try and get like a combat fairy or something and then use like flares? That could be kind of interesting if I can remember how to do the combat fairy. That was like Bounds and something. Was it Bounds and Miracle? Or Bounds and Mirai? It was one of the two, so this should work. That should be a combat one. Yeah, and then we'll just go back to this. Almost went too far again. I guess for now I want to just have the uh, chakrams. Great. Maybe chakrams would be better too. Right, and then uh, we'll use the lamp. Just wait for it to come like over here. Is she dead? She's dead. That's so overpowered. Holy shit. <laughs> I should be using that a lot more. That is insane. Yeah, I should be abusing the Lamp of Time way more than I have been. And then we use this one. Right? No? Oh. Jed Pillar. I thought we had to, like, show proof. I guess I just had to have it, have it equipped. Show proof that... Or, like, the protection thing. So, Jed... Oh. What did I just do? Oh no, I just like opened fucking big picture. I wish you could unbind that. Does anyone know if you can like unbind the Xbox like home button opening up big picture? It's always annoying. I think I've disabled it in big picture to, to not do that, but it still does it. I don't know, it's strange. Uh, there it is. A relic that can manipulate spells. Use it with the item button and you can chant a spell. Spell or mantra? Hmm. Well, maybe this is the proof we needed at the door. And I guess we can show it to the Elder. That there thing you're holding, that's called the Jed Pillar. Infuse it with the power of words and it will show you their true worth. I actually have no idea what it's used for. Well, it probably changes words into power. Maybe you can use it to chant spells? Thanks, Elder. So I'm, I'm immediately thinking about the word wall in Chamber of Extinction, but let's visit Mulbrook as well. Unless it means the mantra specifically, but then I don't know how to like set the words because I think, oh, I think I have have a uh, one or two mantras unlocked, like the one from uh, Endless Corridor. Let's just check that. Is now the time? Nope. Yeah, Combat Fairy is quite nice sometimes. Except when you have grenades equipped. Strike Infinity? No. Yeah, because here was one of the mantras, right? Yeah, Marduk. Chant these words. The name of the child of God who doth defy Tiamat. The name of the root of all suffering. The one who brought the eleven demons upon us. Marduk. Hmm. Maybe that's not a... No, that was a mantra, right? Didn't it, like, specifically say when I got that? Like, you learned the mantra? Marduk or something? I don't know. I can't remember. 
Uh, I guess I, I do want to try that Chamber of Birth thing, but also Chamber of Extinction. Let's go here. No? This is not it? Alright, I guess not. Hmm. Yeah, let's try Chamber of Birth for a second. Oh wait, yeah, Infinity was down here, but like, I guess I kind of already did that, maybe? I, I doubt this is anything. I mean, I guess I've already like done the thing it asked, because I have activated Infinity, maybe? But we still don't know like how to get here. Aw, oh, damn it. Teleport out. Well, I guess we're done here. I still don't know how to get up there, that ladder. Let's go here as well, and just try picking a fight with this guy. Because I didn't try using the sword, the key sword. No. That's nothing either, alright, never mind. Ah, uh, well, I mean, we have the dimensional corridor left to do stuff in, but let's also try... Wait, again, how, how was the way... Was it through here to go to Oxhead and Horseface? Yeah, I think so. Is it closer to take the shortcut? Can you even go back from that point? I have no idea. It would probably be quite hard past the, like, Mega Man spikes. So I guess I should also, like, check all the screenshots that mention Nua. Just what was the point of me killing her? I mean, I guess I got the pillar, but... Whatever that is gonna be for. Yeah, not here. Manipulate spells, huh? Chant a spell. Unless that's used in the dimensional corridors, I don't really know. Have I heard anything about a spell before? I don't remember if I've seen screenshots or, like, tablets with that. Ah, uh, oh boy. Just to check. So you're remembering things right? What do you think happened with that infinity symbol? Honestly, I have no idea. I think when I used the infinity symbol, that's when I could, like, go from the other side and break the thing that was, like, blocking the ladder up in that screen in the infinity symbol or something. I can't remember. Because, yeah, if there was something else, then I have no idea. Or if I knew, then I'd probably forgotten. I don't know why I'm here. Yeah, I'm kind of at a loss for where to go at this point. Again, I could just go back into the dimensional corridor, but... I'm still not sure we have what it takes to do whatever you need to do in that. Might be time to look at some screenshots again. 
just to refresh my memory. When you used the dragon skull in the woman's statue on the alcoves, the infinity symbol appeared. It wasn't there before. That's all you've done in that room. Ah. But did, I thought it, like, made a sound as well to the right of that screen when that happened. And then I went to the right of that screen and it was like that that wall that I constantly open up a weight to a wall and it was just nothing, but now it was something or something like that. Uh, so let's just check what it was about striking infinity or whatever. Seek the righteous spirit. Boundaries of time. So I guess I've learned the mantras birth and death. It's just I don't know how to recite mantras yet. I broke them all earlier, you think? Oh, hmm. Yeah, I don't remember. Obtain the dimensional key, which I haven't, I think. But does it say obtain the dimensional key first, then go and thrust infinity there? Or does it mean... Like, do this to get the dimensional key? I don't know. I mean, I tried to thrust infinity. Unless it was like I was supposed to use a specific item, like the pillar in that screen, like against the backdrop of infinity, but why would it be the pillar? I'm gonna destroy the dimensional powers. Strike the wedge. Golden glow. And the crystal skull. Could try and use the crystal skull on the infinity thing. I still have one last item to get in the twin labyrinths. Yeah, I guess I could try and just do that. Though I would most likely need some hints for it. Because I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking. Uh, let's just check the chamber of birth one last time then. Gonna make sure I kill this thing so it stops being pesky. Ow. Yeah, so that's nothing. Oh no. Oh no, I just dropped down. God damn it. That's so annoying that you can't recover ever. Oh, man. Yeah. This fucking movement system. Love it sometimes, hate it other times. Specifically, the, like, you have absolutely no control when walking off ledges, and you have no control when getting hit is very frustrating. Like, if at least the hit stun after a lo oh. after a long time would just wear off like after several seconds of falling then it wouldn't be a problem but i guess if it was that long it would only work in this screen i really would want the hit stun to not be as long as it is just for everything Yeah, it's not that. I used this already. I've 
thrust infinity many times. Hmm. Unless we were supposed to have the time stop or something. Oh god! Jesus, forgot about that. Will I land? Nope. Yeah, I guess out of ideas for that. So, Twin Labyrinths it is. Other side. Look near the secret purple screens, okay. Those are the, like, witch screens, aren't they? Ow. Yeah, I don't think I can get to that place from this side, but just want to check anyway. Philosophers, yeah. Yeah, I think this way around is like not gonna work at all. I still haven't fully learned the layout of this place. You didn't even remember what item I had left here? I, I'm assuming... Uh, I'm assuming it's not something like super relevant or super important. Just like a bonus thing. Maybe it's a software or something, but that would still help. Yeah, I can't really go from this side. Let's go this way. Wait, hold on, I actually need to refill. Might as well. Yeah, I would think it's some somewhere here. Like this, there's definitely something to this. Because the other side has like a gap down or whatever that you can hide in but like I've tried striking things like I guess I haven't tried grenading but that would be hard to like place never mind yeah I'm assuming it's in one of these two screens Can I, like, use something here? I, I don't know. Not sure I should be testing every single weapon I have or item. Dance of life, no? Ah, 
Damn it. These witches are so unpredictable. Didn't see that? No, I didn't see if anything happened. Like, I'm seeing that these are, like, flickering or whatever. That's that's all I'm seeing. But I don't know what that means. Nope. Or if it was something in this screen, I definitely didn't see it. What is it that I was meant to see? Anyone? <laughs> I think I need some help here. An odd thing happened. It'll happen again if I do the same thing again. In this screen. I have no idea what happened. Nope. I got nothing. I, I don't know what I did. I don't feel like I did anything other than what I've just done. Grenaded, I guess. Oh. What? Y you were just supposed to notice that? Wait. What? How does this work? Did I hit that? Like, did I go up? Because I don't remember going up like that. When did that open? Was that always open? And why is it here? Uh, and what does it even do? Doesn't really seem to do much. Oh, it doesn't seem to really ha Oh, I see. Good god. Yeah, that's a bit extreme. Alright. Sacred Orb is nice. Yeah, thanks for the hints. Some of those... Not a huge fan. When they're just completely random. There's no indication, no hints, no nothing. I mean, I guess... You were supposed to just notice that you could jump there at some point. Why am I going here? Oh boy. But yeah, so that's that. Now, though... I guess we could revisit the dimensional corridor. But I, I, again, don't feel like I'm, like, ready for it. I don't feel like I have what we need to make this doable. Yeah, it kind of seems like some of the things just feel like you're not really supposed to even do without a guide or without, like, maybe just, you know, sharing... Oh! There we go. I think someone mentioned... Oh, never mind. Someone mentioned there was a, a breakable wall or, like... I had accidentally hit it, but didn't notice that it was a breakable wall. But that was just money, so I guess it didn't matter. Uh, what were we just talking about? Yeah, it's, it seems like one of those games that they kind of intended for you to, like, play and all of your friends play, and then you're like, oh, dude, I found this thing here. What? You found this thing? I played the entire game. I didn't know that was there, and that kind of thing. 
Like, you're not supposed to find everything yourself and do it 100%. Which is bad for me, because I like being done 100%. But yeah, I, I guess we'll try, like, using the Crystal Skull was the one thing that I was thinking. Like, if we hold the Crystal Skull when these enemies die, does anything specific happen? So here's where I learned the mantras life and death, right? Uh, life and birth, rather. Damn it. Are you gonna land? Okay, cool. He can just choose to do that however long he wants. I don't remember this guy being this tanky. What the hell? How is he so tanky? Good god. Yeah, I don't think this is going to do anything. And that's Kusa Riku's room. Yeah, that's Bobo's. So let's just see. If I go back in, is it already back? Sure is. Okay, so that does not do anything. It's probably a poor hint to it. Wait, what is a poor hint to it? Poor hint to what? Well, that was easier. Yeah, I definitely should be using the Chakram. And I have been down there, like dropping down from here. Yeah, that's where I came in, I think. And like, I mean, we could try and find Mushushu's room, but... Yeah, so like this one, in that case, you're not supposed to kill, maybe. But I mean, I'm still gonna kill her for maybe healing. That would be nice. Yeah, let's just farm this chick a couple times. Poor scorpion lady. She's the weakest link. One more. Oh, you meant poor hint is like, if you take a look at the opposite side, there was some kind of difference there to indicate that you should jump up there maybe? Guess I should take a look at that. But that might be one of those secrets or uh, hints that's like, yeah, it makes sense after you already know that it indicated something. So yeah, here's... No, that's Abzu. Yeah, this is the one that, like... Wait, oh, I haven't read this and then gotten out alive. Guess I should try and do that. Oh, unless that's it. Like, I had to read this before we could even thrust infinity, but... Not really sure. Because, yeah, I thought this would be Mushushu's room. Ugalu, that was mentioned. Ugalu's something. Ugalu's tail? Just keep keep jumping like that. Face me, please. Oh no. Oh god. Oh boy. Yeah, some of these mini-bosses sure are annoying in this place. 
Ah, oh, crap. It was a little too close. Yeah, this one sucks. So can I just, like, escape now, maybe? Yeah, this opens up again. The right side does not open up again. I guess that means we can farm up this lady again for a heal. And maybe I should just save after this. Just just have done that. Just to make, like, one single step of progress in, in this place. Not try and, like, bite off all of the bosses at the same time and then get back alive. Because that doesn't seem to be happening. But yeah, I don't know. If, if there's something I'm supposed to be doing with, like, getting the dimensional key or the mantra or using this thing on something to... I don't know, read words, I might need some kind of reminder or hint, because I, I don't know where else to use that. Now he's back, of course. Great. Love it. That was some good damage, at least. Oh, boy. Nice. Okay. That was pretty lucky. I'm mostly looking at the right puzzles with the right hints. Just not figuring it out, I guess. Oh, and I thought this would go on. I guess that was it for this part. Yeah, let's go and uh, save, just to, like, cash in the stuff I've done now. So what's the closest way? Just straight down here, yeah. Okay, so that's at least done. That's good. Seems like there's a, a cap to, like, how fast you can hit stuff, so swinging that fast isn't even really necessary or useful. Yeah, that took a lot of my health, too, but I do have a heal coming up pretty soon, so maybe we can push on. There's this thing, which I clearly can't hit. Oh boy, do I even want to? I think I would rather go and kill this- Oh, these don't respawn in one screen. So I guess they don't quite count as, like, Marduk. They're just enemies. Let's kill this one again. Ow. Assuming I don't die. Yeah, there we go. Good damage. Just heal up before this one, and I'll try it again. Now they're back. Ow. Here we go. 
best boss. I think this might be a safe spot. Yeah, so now I just need to time stuff. Totally intended that. There we go. All right. I mean, that's not too bad when you get that down, but... How, do I have it down? Nope. And I'm, I'm thrusting infinity. I'm trying the crystal skull. I don't know. Thrust infinity? Nope. Can't recite any spell. Have I even been up here? Did I go this way? Oh yeah, yeah. And it was like not a boss, so I haven't done something that would trigger Ushum, Ushum Galu. I think Ushum Galu might have been one I needed for Ushushu. Don't quite remember. Right, and this one. Do I even want to bother? I guess... Damn it. I should try and throw a chakram at the same time. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, this guy sure is annoying. God, he's annoying. There we go. Not super tanky, just hard to get hits in on. And that is Umu da Brutu, which I also think we needed to kill, like his wings or something like that. So I guess they're in line. Umu da Brutu. That's Tiamat's room. Which one was it up here? Ushungalu. I think I needed him. Yeah. And then that's Mushnahu, which I guess we don't need really. And I'm probably dead here. Great, good start. Oh boy. I don't care about my chakrams if I can just get out of here alive. Nice, okay, good. I could probably, like, farm these dudes for a green goop. Let's try and do that. I think they're easier to handle than the boss downstairs. Oh, wait, can I? I can't. Shit. Well. Oh, man, how do you avoid that?
Nice. Okay, and I got the heal. All right, so now we can at least, like, get back. And now I've been everywhere and saved in this place and scanned all the the uh, tablets and stuff. So that's good. Doesn't help much, but at least I have that checked off. Unless there was something... Uh, what are you doing? Something up to the left? They do that? At some point I want to try using a treasure fairy on this one. Because it seems like a very good... Oh yeah, yeah, I've been here. Very good farming spot. Nope, he doesn't care about the skull. Yeah, I think I'm I'm at a standstill now. I don't know what else to do where. Ishar's room. Thrust Infinity at this statue? That's the statue, right? Isn't that the one? Like, in the thing where it said, like, keep in mind what weapon you have or whatever. What did it say? Where was that? Shrine of the Mother? Yeah, this one. Look to the weapon in thy hand. The key to the awakening lies within. Isn't this the same thing? I guess not. It looks like this one has an infinity symbol on it, though. Nope. No idea. Can't, like, place a weight or anything here. And we can't just, like, climb down in the center here? No? Yeah. All right, well, oh, sorry about the cursor. I'm done here at this point, I guess. Yeah, I think I need some kind of hints for where to go next. Otherwise, I'm probably just gonna look it up in between streams. I don't know what else to do. Like again, I've, I've looked at all the screenshots. I understand that there are things that are seeming relevant to the situation I'm in, but not, like, what they actually mean or how they're useful. And, like, where I would use this thing to chant the spell. I don't know if there's been anything that indicated that. Infuse it with the power of words. Like, I, I just think that's either the wall in Chamber of Extinction or it's the mantra. I guess we can take it to the, like, the mantra place where I read the mantra hints, but I don't think that's a thing. You think this is another, like, bottleneck, where there's basically only one thing I can progress and make progress on? Yeah, in that case, I probably need a hint for that. Like, what is it that I'm supposed to be focusing on?
uh, what was I just saying? Over here. Yeah, I don't really love these, like, bottleneck moments in the game where you just get to a point where it's you just have one key step that will unlock much more. And if you don't work out the key step, which oftentimes isn't very, uh, like, sensible, then you're just shit out of luck. Just wander around for hours and hours with no inclination that anything is happening. Or indication, rather. Yeah, this is not doing anything. The game is mostly bottlenecks from now on. Great. It has something to do with, like, striking the wed wedge, but I feel like those are not literal hints. It's just, like, kill the things they are talking about or whatever. Could check that hint guide as well, but yeah, like people said, it hasn't really been that great, that hint guide. Like, it doesn't really tell you much, and when it does tell you much, it kind of tells you too much, and it's like really weirdly formatted. It's hard to find anything that you actually need to make progress on in it. Which hint tablets to focus on, or where to go? I mean, I guess let's start with the hint tablets, and I can take a look at that. And, like, yeah, I don't know if the boundaries of time is significant. That's the thing. There's, like, an infinite amount of things you could read into these hints, but maybe this means nothing. Maybe that's just thematic. You never know. Like, oh, the treasure that slipped through thy fingers. It could mean literal fingers of something. Like, I don't know. It, it's just very unclear. Obtain the dimensional uh, key. Yeah, I thrust infinity. I mean, yeah, I guess that doesn't really help. Because, like, I've already done everything that I could think to do relating to Chamber of Birth and that screen with infinity, so I probably need some other hint for it. Place. I don't know if this is significant, like the place that eternally connects to the place where life is born with no end. If it means, like, find in an infinity symbol in Chamber of Extinction instead, which connects to the infinite birth place and strike something there with a sword. I don't think I've seen any, uh, well, there's there's this in the background, I guess, like, this is similar to the the Temple of Nuwa, or the, well, whatever it was called, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think that's anything. Yeah, these are just, like, in the background. Oh, well, didn't really want that. Great, Treasure Fairy. Certainly need that right now. Yeah, I don't know where infinity would be. Yeah, feel free to just keep dropping hints. I think I need it at this point. I'm kind of done with the whole wandering around thing. I feel like I've done enough of that today.
You know, this is just really, like... Really suspicious. Yeah, I, I don't think hints like that will really suffice. Just think about what items you have. Like, I have been. It doesn't work. I have been trying to think about what items I have. Like, if I haven't been thinking about it in the right way until now, I'm probably not going to think about it in the right way without any other clues. What exactly does thrust infinity there? I mean, that's, that's debatable, too, like... <sighs> like... That's, again, it's such a vague line, you could impl you could read into it in many different ways. Thrust something into the infinity symbol, thrust an infinite number of times, thrust the concept of infinity, thrust the screen that keeps scrolling infinitely, like, thrust the fact that it loops infinitely. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to, to get me to do. Like, I, I think I need a more blatant hint. Or this is just not gonna do anything. What items do you have? Like, again, that, that doesn't... that's not gonna do anything. This. Like, I would look this up in a walkthrough right now, so th there's no reason to try and be vague and try and nudge. I need something. Item names? I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, eternity and infinity? But that's for Endless Corridor. Wait, one of my items has an infinity symbol on it, does it? I do not see any infinity symbols anywhere. I mean, I, I guess this one, yeah? But, like, why would you use this here? That doesn't make any sense. Especially when they're using, like, the different word as well, just to be even more vague. Oh, boy. Yeah. Don't love these. And there it is. Alright. I'm definitely gonna stop here. Now we have something to progress. I'm, I'm done for now. Yeah, I, I don't like the game when it gets like this. Sure, my bad, I guess, but like... What are you gonna do when it, when it turns out this way? Weaken the powers of the Twisted Dimension. Yeah, that was just the bottleneck needed. Oh boy, yeah, not having a great time right now, so we're gonna take a break, and then we're gonna do some Spirit Fairer. See you next time. <laughs>